Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we are going to talk about the Mustang. We're going to see if it's worth buying in Red Dead Online or if it's not worth buying. You know, if we're just going to do a little review to see if you guys should actually uh, pick this horse up if you're looking for a new horse or if you're interested in buying a Mustang. Then I would, uh, we're going to check that out and see if it's actually good. So if you like the video, as always, like and subscribe and let's get into the video. So here we are. We are here with the Mustang. A quick thing before we start, guys. Um, this is not the best Mustang. This is the Wild Bay Mustang, not the Tiger Stripe Bay Mustang. Just because the Tiger Stripe cost 14 gold bars, I believe it was. So that's something I was not willing to pay just for a Mustang. Um, but overall, if you're looking for a good horse, of course, at the end of the video, I will tell or talk about if it's actually worth buying. So uh, yeah. So here we are, as you can see, we do have 7 health and 7 stamina, and we do have 6 speed and 5 acceleration with the good stirrups and the saddle. So in general, those are good stats, I would say. The stats are definitely, um, they're not the best stats you can have, but they're also not the worst stats you can have. So this is, of course, the level 4 um, bonding, let's keep that in mind as well. But overall, the stats are pretty decent, and I gotta say, I actually like the Mustang a lot. I like the Tiger Stripe Bay, um, if you guys follow the channel. From the start, you definitely know that I'm a big fan of the, the Mustang as well. Especially in the offline version of the game, or in the single player version of the game, the Tiger Stripe Bay was one of my, my favorite horses when I started the game. But overall, this one, the Wild Bay, also looks pretty cool. I gotta say, I had a lot of fun making this video with the Mustang. You know, it's a cool looking horse. It's a cool horse, and it's not too small, but it's also not too big. It's kind of like a, the right size. Uh, it's a pretty. It's not that bulky, but it's it's also not a skinny horse uh, as some of the other horses, like the Arabian, for example. So overall, I was really enjoying myself with this horse. So let's go actually uh, go into the review and see how it does with some um, with some testing. So here we are with the alligators. Um, I was kind of surprised by this test because I didn't think it did a good job, to be honest. Um, as you can see, he bucked me off right away when I actually just, just took a corner a little bit too slow and he bucked me off right away. Keep in mind, of course, there are a lot of alligators right here, but that's kind of what you have to do in online as well. You know, you come across a lot of alligators if you come to this area of the map. So that's kind of disappointing, um, but then we go again, we'll try a couple of times and see how many times he bucks off or how many times he, he runs away or does anything crazy. So the first one didn't do so good. Um, then of course we do the same exact routes as we always do and this time he did, he did pretty good but uh, as you can later see he will uh, he later buck me off I think a couple more times um, for some reason he bucks me off right here while it was pretty far away from the alligator as well so that's kind of not a good thing um, so I was kind of surprised like I said I was kind of thinking that the alligators or the mustang would do a little bit better on this test I do still feel from all the horses I tested that the Arabian, the, um, the Black Arabian was the best one I've used. Here again, I get bucked off. So that's like three times in a couple runs, which is not too good, but it's only $150 for this horse, so I wouldn't expect anything too big. It's a pretty cheap horse, like I said, $150, you can pick this up. And pretty early in the game as well, um, so if you're looking for a cheap horse, so this is definitely, definitely considered buying this one. So as you see here, we do have a grizzly bear, and I was not able to keep control over the horse over here so I crashed into a tree which uh, luckily I didn't die right there but other than that he did pretty good with the grizzly bear you know he was able to control um, pretty easily he didn't do anything crazy except from letting me run into a tree other than that he did pretty good as you can see I came pretty close to the grizzly bear I thought he was gonna duck me off but he just kept on going so that's a good sign uh, he didn't do like I said I was able to keep control. I do still think, feel that the alligators are not that good when you, when you want to test the horses because the grizzly bears actually, most of the horses don't want to for the grizzly bear or they don't. This one does right now, but other horses I've tested didn't buck me off that easily as fast as the alligators buck you off. But the grizzly bear, as you can see, bucked me off as well. But he did a pretty good job overall. Um, I wouldn't say like. He did a bad job for $150. I do think this is, is a good horse. Only if you're looking for a top tier horse, then this is definitely not the horse you'll be looking at. 
So then here again we come across two grizzly bears, but we already did some testing. So now we are going over to some other testing and see if it's actually worth um, with shooting and all that. And I wanted to show you this clip as well. We did ran into a cougar um, while doing some of the missions for the shooting. Uh, and we did come across a cougar over here. And as you can see, I was able to keep control of it pretty easily. He didn't buck me off straight away, but then he did buck me off eventually and I ended up dying. So he was shooting, so I will see you at the end of the shooting clip. So here we are at the end. I did think he did a good job. Overall, he did a good job. He didn't do anything crazy and all that. Um, overall, a good job with the shooting. Then here we do some some missions of the moon shining check. I think I believe it was. Uh, and it was pretty. It's pretty controllable. He didn't do anything crazy. He let me control him pretty easy. He let me ride uh, wherever I wanted to ride without any problems. And he didn't die, which is a good thing. It's also very important that the horse doesn't die on like the first 10 shots or something like that. So I killed them without ease, or with actually with ease. And then eventually do the other one as well. Pretty easy, not too not too um, hard to control him. He was actually pretty calm the whole way. He didn't end up dying, which is a good thing. Because um, I think when your horse dies in a gunfight or in a gun battle, that's definitely not the thing you're looking for. So overall, he did a really good job. So, in general guys, I do think this horse is a good horse for the money. It's only $150, of course, if you're looking for the Tiger Stripe Mustang. Um, then, I don't know, I'm not sure about the 14 gold bars. I don't think it's that worth it. But if you guys want me to review the Tiger Stripe Bay as well, then I'll definitely... Um, then I'll definitely buy the gold bars or get the gold bars to actually do the review but other than that I do think if you're looking for a Mustang and you want to spend the gold bars that you should do the Tiger Stripe Bay because that one is better in stats um, in general so I definitely think that's the better option if you're looking for a Mustang but other than that if you don't look or don't want to spend gold bars and still want a Mustang then definitely go ahead and buy it keep in mind guys it's not as good as the top tier horses it's pretty average, it's not that bad, you know, the alligators he didn't do a good job, the grizzly bear he did do a decent job, and then with the shooting he did do a good job. So overall, it's a good horse, is it worth $150? Definitely. Uh, it's not a lot of money, only $150, so that's a good thing. 
it's not a lot it's like a couple missions and you already get it or maybe even one of two treasure chests and you have it so in general if you're looking for a mustang go ahead buy it other than that um, i don't see any problem with this horse except of course the alligators but that's it for the video guys if you do enjoy the video then definitely like and subscribe if you want me to do the tiger stripe bay then also let me know in the comment section down below and i'll definitely get the gold bars and do it thanks for watching and i hope to see you all in my next video bye